you want me to say? Exactly reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? <laughs> A New Untold Story, episode 435. Not close. 342. Uh, that was close. We might as well start with 342 facts after this ad read. You're learning. Uh, game time, boys. The exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Created by fans for fans. Game time's the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. Uh, Kyle, what did you go see recently? Because of game time, game time, nothing in a while. But uh, hey, man, I swear, it's one of the lie, dude. The last time I used it was the highlight of the past year and a half. So what was it? The tennis match. The tennis match. Yes, yeah, so. I, have, I, have, I haven't been to an event where I would use it. I've been to a few, but <laughs> dude. I had to pay. I had to pay the flex. <laughs> flex that I. Sometimes you got to pay if you can. <laughs> and, and I think you guys will be lucky enough to pay with the game time app, but just a lot less than other other competitors. And all of Kyle's experiences and more are all available on the game time app. Biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you could never buy. It takes two taps and 10 seconds to buy your tickets. And it's delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. App also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text. So you can get into the game seamlessly. Download the game time app or go to the website. Enter your email redeem code. Boys, Boys. untold for uh, for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Oh, for one. Uh, terms apply. Uh, yeah. What episode was it called? Three forty two. But should we address the the men in the room? The four men in the room. Uh, yeah. It's uh intern week. Jesus, my head is like tapered weird to where headphones don't quite work. They shoot off the back of my head. Um. Remember when there were cicadas and you could pull the back right leg and the head shot off? They, they just, they were all over. Yeah. The entire like, earth for what? 2002? I think we had them two, three they years They covered ago. every square inch of my yard, my house, my tree. Yeah. They're like, yeah, this is just a thing that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we have the interns here. Uh, the one week interns, you boys wanted to come in here. And I got, I, I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're wearing merch. That's cool. Jim, yep. what's your name? Dan. Dan? Nolan. Nolan. Mm -hmm. Did you just do this? That's my thing. Oh, oh, yeah. Nikki's been doing that for <laughs> God and good a lot <laughs> Yeah, but he did it when he was talking about Reddit, to oh, be fair. Oh, Reddit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, okay. Nolan. Yeah. And you were on the earlier. Yeah, so Jason. Did you fall and scrape your knee? Scab. Okay. <laughs> Jason, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. Jason with the scab. Jason, I know about you. You're 26. You said you were 26, but you're 27. You panicked, you panicked and got your age wrong. Yeah. Here, the mic right there. You, well, I don't think you were lying. I think you just made a little, a little flub. Or oh, unless you were lying, and that's funny. And you're from uh, Hershey, PA, Correct. Uh, Milton High School. Close. I was like five minutes away. So not that high school. <laughs> no, but you you were close. Yeah, but it's in the area, and that was sounded very like close. very. Yeah, it was impressive that I knew. Yeah, boys. What about you guys, Nolan? Nolan. I'm actually from. I'm gonna lie here. So Dixon. you're so you're not from so Dixon. Yeah, so you're lying. You said you were well, you just lie. told you told the truth. You told us that that was the oh, most okay. clear thing I've ever heard. Is his mic on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Speak into it though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in college. Closer. In college. No, no college. So I'm actually a full time firefighter. You're a full time firefighter. Twenty one. So you were born in. Is that what got, in, uh, got you into yeah, it? No. What do you mean it got him into it? After post 9 11, everyone he wanted to be born a firefighter. In 2002. He didn't even get to. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Well, that's the year when everyone wanted to be a firefighter. He so grew a, up in You're a, a firefighter he's baby. Never been firefighter all... era baby. Yeah. They needed more fire. Yes. The recruitment ads in 02 for firefighters were insane. I'm surprised. Is his mic on? I, I don't. I, yeah, it's faint. Can you bop it? This isn't live. Yeah, so bop we it. Give it a little bop. I don't think it is. I don't think it's on. Well, I saw a little spike right there. Or is that my mic? Yeah, uh, it's mic three and it's not picking up. I thought it wasn't. Okay, 
It's how the sausage gets made, boys. And guess what? We're still going to put this out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We always have next week. Mm-hmm. Well, not you boys, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Is that just a broken mic? I can just give him mine. Do this. Should we just switch, swap spots? Yeah. Yeah, just come over here, swap. All of them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't try any of this stuff. Yeah. All right. Dan, Jim, Nolan, Jason? Was it Jason? Jason from Hershey? Oh, fuck. I just booted the fuck out of Rudy's laptop. It's been a disaster. Okay. All right. Maybe we fast forward this. Maybe speed it up. Yeah. Do you want to bring over that stool? Oh. So for those that didn't pick it up, uh, you're a firefighter born in 2002. Yes, born in 2002. Uh, so did you see footage of 9-11? Like, and are, are you like kids that were like obsessed with like ACDC and just like, I was born in the wrong era? Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Uh, yeah, I get it. And what is the, what is like the most intense thing you've done in that field? Oh, the most intense thing? Oh, I, could, I couldn't even tell you. Pro- probably fight fires. You put out fires. Yeah. So you have you've been in a burning building or oh, home? Yeah. Full burn. Full burning. Smoke full burning. All. Full heat and everything. Yeah. Did you did you rescue anything or anybody? Um, no. Nothing. Not yet. You're still young. Yeah. yeah. That's what mm-hmm. that's what they tell me. So So why are you doing this internship? To- oh, so I actually I do stand up comedy in Chicago. Oh, there you uh, go. I've, I've been a bar school fan for a long time. Huge nice. anus fan. No, I appreciate uh, you appreciate wearing the merch. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, just figured it's a good opportunity to get in the office, kind of see what it's about and having yeah. fun so far. So cool. Cool beans. Yeah. So you guys flew out here, took a week off. Oh, wait, we haven't gotten to you yeah. in the towel-y fit. Yeah. You're, f- you're very, 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 you're in the big South Park. Guy. I think you're in, is he in the most towel-y items in the office right now? <laughs> Got it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe yeah. right. Not around here. I think you're Greer has the like, towel-y yeah, pants. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah well, my name is Dan. I'm from Delco. Uh, oh yeah okay. yeah I, I, uh went to school for production at drexel so okay i did this mm-hmm. anything for him and i was trying to think of towns and high schools in delco springfield briarcliff yeah, ridley spring ford springfield all right <laughs> <laughs> um we we have a task for you guys all to do today okay. um but kyle do you have to we have what's the episode number we can do the task first. You want to give have them go out and do this task right now? Oh, but yeah. Do we want to do that during the episode? We could have them go out and get some get how they how they did. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like you guys have a one week internship. Oh, Jim, we didn't get your backstory. Oh yeah. Here, Jim. Oh yeah, Jim, talking to that one. I'm Jim. Yeah, figured. Yeah. Yep. You From, go. Uh, do you go by Jim? Yeah, well, my real name's James. Oh. Gone, by, <laughs> gone by Jim, Fizz Jimmy, Ed. Jimbo, Jimmer, pretty much anything that starts oh, yeah. with a J. Jim is nice and simple, though, so mm-hmm. it's easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I currently work in the grocery industry. I do, like, sales. So I sell cookies and crackers to grocery nice. stores. Okay. Are you, like, around. rambunctious and playful? Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> did that have anything to do with the grocery industry? Or did you just want to know? That's what the the vet at the animal shelter asked about my kitten last yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, very yeah, much. Well, like she is cat. a kitten, yeah. so yes. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I used to do grocery. I bagged. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I did that when I was in high school as well. You did it way, way yeah, older than I, I was. Twenty five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Acme fun. grocery chain. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what? What? Uh, Bimbo Bakery. Is that no, the uh, no. Pepperidge Farm? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I could, yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. No, we got you, you we actually got Mook in. fired from his job. You like to claw or scratch? <laughs> what? You like to claw or scratch at like the the um, products that you're stuff? Generally not. Okay. <laughs> but I'll I'll maybe uh, okay. see if I can. But it's work not a bad thing. If you daily routine. <laughs> okay. All right. Or what do we what do we got for the boys? Well, I have a task for him. Um, before your inter- internship ends, um, homework assignment. Um, you guys probably don't know. We once made a fake menu item for the pizza place across the street. We called it Wheat Grinkus, and we put the sign outside, and then we sent Mook in to order the Wheat Grinkus uh, while filming himself. Yeah. Uh, and then Kyle went in and, and, I did. and did it. And if you guys would like, uh, 
we have a new menu item we're going to slap on the side of there. And if we'd like to send all four of you guys in at different times to go order this and, and film yourself. That sounds awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> the new item at the, uh, at the Bravo Pizzeria <laughs> that just came. Well, it's, it's, it was out before. And you guys can all eat solid foods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can get it down <laughs> usually. So um, it's an Italian place. It's a pizza place. So back on the menu, uh, <laughs> they've, they have their Gartuzo back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, finally. And it, it was actually voted biggest Gartuzo in New York City. And yeah. so I need you guys to go in and just be like, hey, I heard you guys have the biggest Gartuzo. Uh, just give me one. I mean, if it's, is it, is how big is it? Cause I could, I usually do two, but if it is the biggest, I'll just take one. Mm. And things along the lines of that. Yeah. yeah. Just try to order it. And so, and who knows? They might have it. <laughs> Dude, if these guys come back with Gartuzo, a word that I just made up. <laughs> yeah, I guess they had it. <laughs> um, so, we'll have Mook slap the sign up and film you guys go one at a time uh, to go order. The, if you're down. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you can see the video of Mook didn't back down. He wasn't leaving without his wheat grinkus. Um, the person who brings back Gartuzo is uh, fucking full time, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you got a job. <laughs> you bring back, what is it called? It's I'm Gartuzo. Getting Gartuzo. Gartuzo. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting that. All right, boys. Uh, I Googled deep fried thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but it's back on the menu. Do we have the, so you wait, guys got to be excited that it's back. Do we have the flyer to put on the? We're, I'm going to send it to Rudy to go oh, print okay. it out. Okay. Um, so yeah, cool. if we and we'll have you guys do that. Um, yeah. So you guys got this internship. You got here Monday, so it's a week long internship. Did you? So <laughs> did you have to put in your two weeks a week ago? <laughs> yeah. And then is that how it went? I. I Put in my two weeks actually yeah yeah <laughs> good are you getting like tired of the grind it's wednesday afternoon <laughs> yeah things I used mean, to be different around here <laughs> i miss the old bar younger. stool the monday bar stool it definitely yeah. used to be different like it's kind of i was saying to my friend just kind of like getting a trip to disney world and you see mickey and goofy out in the hall but you have to sit in there and just talk to the engineers the whole time you know? <laughs> wait who, <laughs> my who's mickey still is cool <laughs> is big cat mickey you two might be making a goofy to be honest. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't goofy. I'm Pluto. <laughs> Why are you Pluto? Uh, small, not a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Mickey or Goofy. <laughs> yeah, I don't plan things. <laughs> oh, yeah. You sure as fuck so don't is, plan um, things. Yeah. I go to London tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Yeah, boys. What do you think about this? <laughs> Tom, Tommy, I, yeah, I just did. It was the most aggravating thing in the world. You've been in the process of getting your passport for three because years. Because they make you pay first and then they make you fine. Kyle, it's been three years. We did a Rediscovering America in SoCal. So here's the deal. And the plan was here's to walk deal. into in, Tijuana. It doesn't matter because in order to, ex if you expedite it, you, ha you have to have an upcoming trip. So if I did it too early, I wouldn't be able to do this expedited service. <laughs> yeah, yeah then just then, do it yeah, too early. So they make you pay. Just do it too early. So I, I waited within two weeks and I didn't know that it's so hard to book an appointment within this entire region. The closest one I could find was in Chicago. And I'm not going there. <laughs> At 8 a.m. So you're not, you're not, the I'm next not time we have to go out of the country, what's going to happen? I'm going to do this right the next time. <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> Just get it now, dude. Fuck. You think I'm not jealous and bitter? I don't. I'm going, I'm, dude, I'm going to be in the Sweet. air more than I'm in England. I know Tommy, he's going to have a blast. He's going to tear his meniscus. Chasing, Tommy will yeah, tear. He's going to tear his meniscus chasing pang tings and shoreditch <laughs> see you have all the you I have know, all the lingo that you don't it's get to absolute, use yeah bands will be ace <laughs> <laughs> yeah like what i don't deep down i think you just didn't want to go for two days it would it would screw up my circadian rhythm yeah my biohacking sure my routine that i'm doing we'll get into my morning routine later are we we'll, we'll get into my daily routine later so <laughs> people in my head have been asking I need, I need to I need to spill. Um, okay, okay, dude. Um, the Yak posted a TikTok of like us. You had to sell merch, and then I had to sell merch, uh, like for the Yak merch that is in the store. Okay, I'm telling this poorly, like but when we posed in the we shirts. had posed in the yeah. shirts, and somebody left a comment on mine. Uh, definitely five point three inches with a slight left curve, but then that's fine. I get those comments all the time. But then he said, 
pound sign. Five and a third hard, borderline invisible, soft. (laughs) Who's that? For me. Okay. Is that what they said? No. They said this. They didn't say that? Oh. Uh, pound sign CC9C59, which is a hex code for color. They guessed the color of my cock. And I haven't looked it up yet, but I want to look this up right now. That's probably the pound. The, the kids are doing that for girls. That's probably this, the code for pink. No, no. I bet you it's white. I, <laughs> no, no, yeah. Have you no, seen that? They're guessing girls nipple color. Pussy color. No, they're not guessing when they, pussy when they color. Put, when nipple. they comment bubblegum pink, they're talking about the pussy. Oh, I thought they were talking no about the nipple. No one cares about nipple color? I would. Okay. If your girl had like fucking... No, you would not yeah. like... You like pink nipples. <laughs> guess. <laughs> you guess? Yeah, but people... Yeah, you know, go on. Mook, can you look up? I just want to see if this guy's accurate. Also, I'm getting, thanks to you, thousands of calls a day. It's, I'm getting... It's bad. Are you getting one right now? Not right now, but text calls. James Reichel called me. Robert Fox, which might just be my coworker. <laughs> yes. I've got to save his number. James Reichel called me twice. And then Doug Pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Pretzel. Doug Pretzel's been calling me nonstop. <laughs> Doug Pretzel. That's funnier than Boggs Biega. <laughs> Is that a guy you made? That's a guy you made up, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Doug Pretzel keeps calling me. <laughs> What's the uh, what's the area code for Bluffington? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Um, fuck. Do we have? I want to see what color that is. Uh, or you? We got to switch again. Do we have to switch? I can just look it up on my computer. But if it if this is like spot on and they have everything else right, it's mine. Is, is Chad's neck a town in Delco? I'm from Delco. Never heard of Chad's, Chad's something. Chad's Wait, Ford. you're from Chicago Chad's and you were Ford, trying to guess? guess? Yeah, I said spring <laughs> for the other time. Okay. Chad's neck. So what have you guys learned? What, what, what's, what's been the, the week? We've probably seen more like slideshows oh, and yeah. stats and graphs. A lot of them. Enough to like yeah. kill somebody. It's, it's oh, literally lethal in there. Um, but it's a paid internship. No, yeah. a free. We we paid for this. Actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what we were getting at there. Oh my god! You know, a lot of stats, a lot of graphs. Yeah. <laughs> These guys have a bare naked ladies internship, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're like one week internship. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're like intern canoe. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think the Wi Fi is just fucking out. Fuck. Yeah. Can't find out what color my cock is. Sorry, boys. Uh, and for those, those li- the people that are just listening have to be furious. <laughs> Fuck. I can't see the color. What's the hex code again? Um, is it going to be black? I'll be so amped up if it's like <laughs> they think, if the boys think I have a black dick. I'm actually yeah, the internet's out. Nervous for you. I'll just play the fucking T Rex game. There we go. <laughs> Look at that high score, forty six. I'll beat it right now. I never knew you could do this, dude. Oh, you never knew. I, the the highest piece of tech that I think you know how to work. No, I've never is, a sti- is like a sticky hand. I'll I yeah. I think when that's I the most. When I see this, I exit out and go play a real game. <laughs> What's a real game? You don't even play a real game. I don't. You can't I am doing it now. Are you guys biohacking? Doing anything with your dopamine? <laughs> <laughs> Not currently, no. Anybody else? That'll happen in your late twenties, early thirties, and then. Well, you're 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 twenty six. Oh my bad, I lied. <laughs> I just closed. I can't get it. I can't. I won't be able to figure out the color of my cock. Hold on, maybe I will on here. You want me to read it to you, Mook? Yeah. It doesn't matter. People don't need to know. People so you, don't. you said you guys are going out to, or you're flying out to London. I um, am just yes. one of us. Yeah, just okay. one of us. It for was the supposed- King's coronation. King's court is that for? Is that really what you guys are going for? Is yeah, that- they're they're going to do like a video. Yeah, like so we were. We, I was going to try to make it into a little vacation, and so I got the t- the flight, and I'm just there for the weekend. Okay. Which is a, a long haul for a weekend trip. Okay. I wouldn't even go to like mm. Brooklyn for the weekend. Have you guys been to England? Never. No. No. Mm. What about you, Jim? You have. He said London was one of his favorite trips ever. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Well, no one can hear him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anything? <laughs> nice, nice facial structure. Yeah, you look like somebody. Somebody big head you? Yeah. TJ. Oh. No, you have a good structure. 
boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Midwest look for sure. So tomorrow's your last day. Are you going to the memories? Incredible. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's comparable to like the early office days of Barstool for me, for sure. But if you look at <laughs> the early off days, Monday, like, yeah, you remember when Monday. Sass was here? Oh, that was Do you riot. chill at the house, the firehouse? Oh uh, yeah. When I'm working. Yeah. It's a lot of downtime though. Tons a of lot downtime. of not working. Oh, it's tons of not, not, not working. Work. It's the move. Like if people should do that more often. Learn how to tie knots. Yeah. Be a firefighter as a profession. <laughs> I think uh, uh, firefighters love cigarettes. Uh, not actually cigars. I see a oh, lot okay. of cigars for some reason. Oh, thanks, oh. man. Oh, thanks, dude. What a transition. Thank you. <laughs> that was nice. Of you. <laughs> yeah, that, dude. Yeah, thank you. Do you need yeah, a light? Um, Beautiful. I got a lighter. Just rip some cigs. Is, is that sponsored? Kyle, they brought us cigarettes. <laughs> I only smoke in the car. We're gonna... Delicious. Kyle, Dan brought us cigarettes, man. Oh, uh, yeah, and I got you some. What'd you get me? I can't smoke before. <sighs> What do you want? You guys like indica hybrids or sativa? <laughs> He's got the baby. Are those the baby? These are fa- these are the Stizzy Forties, oh, and what? you just need like two hits. Oh God! <laughs> um, what makes them? Uh, what makes? Is I, it don't, Stizzy I don't know brand? anything about weed, but these work well. I can't. <laughs> but you don't smoke weed anymore, do you? I am. Well, now I kind of need to. I started withdrawing. Couldn't sleep, so I just do a little bit, couple hits at like eight thirty, and I'm good. Uh, hybrid boys. Where are the hybrid boys at? <laughs> well, that's all that's all and I'm going to appreciate any sativas. Yeah. Oh, this one's used. I'm good right now. <laughs> all right, we'll back to, uh, <laughs> used. Yeah. yeah. We'll divvy those up afterwards after you, unless you guys want to smoke before you go order your, what was it called? Gartuzo. Gartuzo. You know how those pair. Yeah. Gartuzo and weed. Oh, delicious. Oh my God. <clears throat> I don't know if we're allowed. Are we, are we getting- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait. Here. Take that and take that and then just do whatever. Yeah, do whatever you feel. Whatever seems natural. (laughs) (laughs) So I don't I'm I've run out of questions to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You got anything? I can't even I don't I got a location for you guys for rediscovering America. A location for rediscovering America? Where is it? Better be in the fucking country. Wildwood, New Jersey. Wildwood, New Jersey. Yeah. A lot of Canadians down there? Uh Europeans. Yeah, French. Fuck. <laughs> I um I would like to go down there. I've never been to South Jersey Shore. Yeah, you have, haven't? Yeah. Like Atlantic City, Wildwood. You haven't? Good time. Like not for like recreationally. Oh yeah. 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 Um, let's send the boys out to get some uh oh, Gartuzo. Yeah. Okay. Rudy, can I email that to you? Yeah. And then who's going in first? Um, I, I, you want to go yeah. and we'll play rock, yeah. paper, scissors or something? Mm-hmm. A three way. And I think it's just like I would like it if one of you was in line, random person, two in a row. Oh, yeah. I like that. You don't have to like get like too crazy with it. You can just ask, hey, do you have, you have. Yeah, I'm going to print it out. I I keep forgetting what its name is. Oh, you're smoking in the studio? (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I don't know. I didn't know that was your, that's what you were going to do naturally with the lighter. (laughs) Yeah, we didn't sign off on that. You guys have your you have you have pitch. Are you making pitches to Erica tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I don't even know what like business ideas. Anything sure. So the other crew that we met on the yak were like very gung ho. They oh, had it prepared. Cool. They wanted to wow Erica. You guys, yeah. is that why they were on the yak? Well, they're they, yeah, yeah, yeah. smoking in here. Like, hey, anus is open if you want to go. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's like, what they. Yeah. Enrique said that to you, <laughs> brother. That's not the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I don't know. It was a good time, but I guess those those people were more business people. Mm-hmm. Were kind of more. You guys are a little more active, be content, like climbing right? trees, yeah. clawing well, around, yeah, yeah. It's the chasing shit, yeah, Absolutely. chasing shit. It's getting nasty, you know. But Jim, where are you from, James? Uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, nice. Yeah, Lo- we we loved it. There. Loved it. Best college town. And you you live there still? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I uh, went to the same high school as Jack McCarthy. Oh, he's a dickhead. Oh, Jack is from Wisconsin. Yeah. He's one of my favorite people. (laughs) Mean style. Always wears those full graphic tees, FGTs. Um, Smells like cigarette in here. Mm, That's weird. (laughs) Um, Yeah, let's send him out on on the the assignment. My mouth is just, my mouth is watering thinking about those things. (laughs) Here, take one. Oh, oh, uh, Rudy's going to print it, I think. 
me see those signs. Hell yes. Two. Hi. Good, how are you? Uh, I was just wondering, I saw you guys had the Gartuzo back, the big Gartuzos. Uh, could I just get one of those? The Gartuzos. Uh, the, it's like the biggest Gartuzos in New York, I believe. I think it was here, right? The Gartuzos? The Gartuzos, they're like, I think they're like the fried things, said they were back. Bravo Pizza, right? Yeah, but that. Not the kosher? Uh, no, no, no. It's like a, it's like a fried. It's kind of like a calzone. Oh sort yeah, of I know. Thing. Oh yeah, I on Yelp I saw it. You guys have the best gartuzos. What's the raviolis? No, What's like gartuzos. You got no. I don't know gartuzos. It, it looks similar. This is a calzone. This is a calzone. Gar and this is the uh, rolls. I don't know this. I don't gartuzo. know. Gartuzos. No. It said there's it's said like something about the. It was like the biggest ones in New. York. Right? Like no, no gartuzo. I, I, I mean it's it's, just, bravo, it's like right? apple pie. You know, it's like kind of. No, 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 we don't have. No, no. Do you have anything similar? You want the stuff pizza? Uh, is no. it like fried? No, no, no. Uh, uh, fried like that. No. Okay. What okay. would you say is the most similar to the Gartuzo? Nothing. No. Oh. Okay. 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 All right. Um. I guess could I could I just get like a slice of pepperoni pizza then? You guys getting the Gartuzo too? Yeah, you heard about the Gartuzo? Yeah. Yeah, and I guess they don't have them, but uh, the hype is small, man. I'm not really sure what to deal with. Yeah, because I saw it all over. The Gartuzo. The Gartuzo. I'm gonna get the Gartuzo as well. Gartuzo. Make it two. Two Gartuzos. I saw them. We gotta sell Gartuzos. I saw the promotion. It was like a promotion. You guys had Gartuzos back in. Gartuzos, so like I usually they're usually like small, but I heard this was the biggest in the state or something. Maybe that's a, a, another place. There, there were like signs and stuff, and I think I might have seen something on like social media. No, like was it Trump? Yeah, Bravo right. Pizza. No Gartuzo here. This is it's like a um. It's not like the corner. Oh, I don't know something. Yeah, really. Uh, no, 7th and 30th, right? Yeah, this is 7th and 30th? Yeah, on like a telephone pole. Yeah. You guys have Gartuzos. Huh. See, but, yeah, they said... Wait, what time is it? What time is it right now? Uh, uh, yeah, here's... I, ha I actually took a flyer. Is that... That's not you? Are you, get, are you getting this, man? The Gartuzo? Gartuzo, are you for that? No? Do you, do you guys know anywhere that sells Gartuzo? Anywhere that sells Gartuzo? No? Alright, thanks anyway, boys. What the fuck's going on? They've got signs all over the place. No Gartuzo? Alright, well, got a pizza. All right, Mook, you're back. We're back. Uh, How'd it go? Mission accomplished. I had some soldiers out there. You have soldiers? I have soldiers. We were walking across the street. I, I said, signs up, got, got them ready. Uh, and you know what? We went to Bravo Pizza and we delivered. We, uh, <laughs> they, we, uh, this poor pizza place, man. We, dude, they don't speak any English. They, <laughs> they said kosher store again. No, they yeah. said the kosher oh, yeah. store again. They said that again. We had a random lady walk in and uh, one of our guys, Dan, I believe, was like, uh, are you here for the Gartuzo too? <laughs> Gartuzo sounds delicious. It sounds good. Uh, no one cowered. I will there's say no, no, there Nolan was in and out. Nolan? I feel like he's a gentle was giant. Water yeah. everywhere or something? But everyone stood strong. Water everywhere. <laughs> oh, someone was afraid of water, perhaps. You think the fireman's afraid yeah. of water? Oh, <laughs> are you comparing it to me, your cat again? <laughs> uh, but there's currently five... Uh, Gartuzo signs outside of Bravo Pizza. Oh, I God, them, you perfect. Five, I had them all slap it as they walked in. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! And uh, I have uh, POVs of all five of them too. Holy shit! So we'll uh, I'll chop that up. And and oh my god! I almost feel we're kind of. This is funny. This is a new <laughs> this type of prank transcends eras. No one was ever doing pranks like this. No one was ever doing pranks like that. Gartuzos. Gartuzo pranks. 
We do. We are probably the best at doing Gartuzo pranks. <laughs> probably the one dude Jim felt so guilty he got a slice of pizza. After I saw him yeah. eating. The, okay, Jim is a gentle. And the other soul. dude just lit up the cigarette. I thought he was. I was. I was joking. He was. He was the one pressing too. He's like, "What do you mean you don't have Gartuzo?" Oh. <laughs> He's from Delco. He's yeah. from Delco. He doesn't give a damn. Fuck yeah. Um. Yeah, dude. I'm. I'm London without you. So Blatman texts me. He's like, "Hey, are you fine with Tommy going?" And I said, are you fine with a less funny product? And he oh, said, man. and he said, I guess we'll have to be. <laughs> so he agreed Tommy isn't as funny. <sighs> no, Tommy will be funnier Tom, than I would have been. Tommy is the funniest. He's so funny. Uh, shape wise. I was talking to him earlier. He's scared of he's scared of being uh, attacked by British people for being anti crown. Yeah. Yeah. Which I told him that. Being anti crown is been that, played out. That is that they do, they hate Charles over yeah. there. How is, is Tommy like visibly anti crown? What is he saying? I think he's visibly anti. I don't want to get beat up. Yeah, I think he's, he's yeah. constantly walking around. Well, being I'm, like, I'm also an, I'm also uh, anti that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the record. But he's fearful of of his, this guy's pro getting beat up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <he's anti>. yeah. <laughs> um, I think that he's just petrified of any sort of physical altercation. Yeah. You, you, um, to the point where, like, if he was at the doctor and he sneezed at an inopportune time, that the doctor would like beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Or something. Tommy actually he had to cancel a doctor's appointment to go to. He always has one. Um, I uh, hold, hold on. Oh, is this uh, it? Uh, <laughs> the teen boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to throw people off the scent. He has this tattooed on his forehead. Not uh, well, uh, uh, whole, everybody. It's, it's not the pen. I didn't want to get well, into that makes spoilers. it so much cooler then. But I'm wearing it. Flash yeah. it. Fla- it's <laughs> a lot more acceptable <laughs> now. Yeah, <laughs> it's being cool. a, it's being eclipsed by the mic. Let, flash it for the people. So yes, I'm a member of Bridge Four. Who? Is, yeah, do you want to say who it is? And it's from the Stormlight Archive, Kaladin. Yeah. Oh, someone called Kaladin that Stormblast. On a lot of people did. Oh, people. Yeah. But I tried to that. throw people. I didn't want any spoilers, but it's done now, and so, um, yeah, I'm a member of. Until I get the tattoo of the Bridge Four flag, I will be wearing this. <laughs> right on. Thanks, man. Yeah, it, yeah. I feel I catch myself in the mirror. I'm like, what are you doing? What? Yeah. What because, are you doing? You've been running. Dude, and what was the injury that you sustained? Because <laughs> it's a rare one. It's a rare medical anomaly. Yeah, this doesn't happen to a lot of people, and this doesn't help my reputation. I've been trying to work, work out, uh, curls, just body weight exercises. Yeah. You know, hundred push ups, hundred sit ups. Uh, don't sleep with the AC on. Um, Whoa, why? Oh, uh, why? Like One Punch Man. That's how One Punch Man became One Punch Man. Um, but anyway, he. Uh, you, uh, Huberman would tell you otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> my end, my balls. my end goal is to be able to push Kyle over whenever I want. I want to be able to push Kyle. <laughs> I want to be able to push Kyle over, and I want to be able to put Mar- push Maresh over uh, whenever I want. That's my end goal. That's a good so goal. I'm gonna. I, that is my when I'm. I want to be able to push you over. Okay. Whenever I want. Okay. I am so, training like a madman. <laughs> right, and all I want to do is be able to push you over. Okay. So have fun. I'm going to push you right. well, uh, and Marash. You, uh, you tell us, tell us your ailment. Cause I think you got a long way to go. Based yeah, on this yeah, yeah, what is- so I've been running every day. Got some running shoes. Uh, they're like, they're very garish, like very bright running shoes. And I accidentally bought two pairs and Tommy was like, Hey, I like those. And I was like, here, you want a pair? He paid me. And I was like, are you running? He's like, no, I just think they're cool. So he's wearing like these really slick, bright running shoes yeah, with jeans. Would. With jeans. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I've been running. And my outer knee has been killing me. I think a knee, a knee pain is common. Knee pain is runners. common, yeah. but not outer knee pain no. as much. It's usually under inside. I'm this outer knee, and apparently there's a band there. And I talked to a physical therapist, and he was like, yeah, dude, that happens when your calves are stronger than your quads. <laughs> so my calves are stronger than Did my quads. Qual- yeah. That and I'm like insane. overcompensating when I'm running. So like the biggest muscle the in my quad body is the biggest, most powerful. Muscle. Yeah. <laughs> and my calves, which are also small, yeah. are slimmer, There's, uh, are, are, are more strong, yeah, stronger. And it's causing like my run. And I'm now I'm foam rolling every night. And I'm pretty sure me on the foam roller. I'm pretty sure my next door neighbor thinks I'm getting ass fucked every night for like 45 seconds because I just lay on it. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. And uh, but I have a massage coming up when I get back. 
but I'm I'm getting it right, and it still hurts. But uh, well, to get it right, you I have to get. Massage, how do you fix? You, how do you, you have begin to squat, that journey? You, have to get your, you, yeah. you should stop some running quad workouts. Yeah, yeah, you some running leg, through the pain. Yeah, it's gonna get worse. Some leg presses. Yeah, some leg presses. Yeah, I'll or probably just, just ex- I'll probably just use my calves. The leg extensions. All right, yeah, I'll start doing that. I got to get a gym membership. Uh, KB, take him to the gym. Yeah, Planet Fitness is easy. I live right next to a Crunch. That works. That works. Yeah, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna push you over here soon enough. <laughs> push me over. Not you guys, him or Marash. That's the goal. Um, this is a ad that's not allowed on YouTube. So my doorman brought me a mango last night. Rang my doorbell. I looked through the people oh. and he's holding up a Ziploc bag with a mango. And you guys, I remember we uh, he gave me a change date before. Dates. Yeah. Um, but now he brought me a mango. And he said, Do you know how to eat this? I said, Yeah. You probably do you really? <laughs> Never had one, but I Hard didn't want eat. him I didn't want him to like come in and just teach me <laughs> yeah, how to eat a tough. mango. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I will never have a doorman. That's why? It's just like the I don't want a budding relationship every time I walk in my home. It's yeah, it's always budding. Yeah, it's never quite full on. It's That's always what it was with bu- the last one. I was yeah. You were just budding. Mm-hmm. Um do you guys remember how I was talking about the smell at card convention, or like uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh vile. tournaments? There was a uh, this guy who was doing like a man on the street style thing, uh, asking people what fandom smells the worst. And this the guy that he interviewed, the answer was exactly what you'd expect from a guy at a convention. Okay. All right. You ready? So this guy probably smells. Okay. Fandom, do you think has the smelliest fans? Like, hmm. I think it would definitely. Um, I think fandom. I think fandom wise, I think it would definitely have to be. Um, anything that's um, anything that's probably um, uh, I, I, I think it's definitely um, uh, anything that's um, um, I think it's someone who's just as um, uh, as, um uh, as, as death characters maybe. <laughs> as death characters maybe. <laughs> death. That sounded like KB when I was talking about the flashing boobies. Yeah. And the guy is so yeah. You I you guys just heard his voice, and I promise you could draw him perfectly by just hearing his voice. It's gotta be a soft chin. Is it a soft chin? Uh he's got like a nicer hair than I thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, he's got he's got the peasant hair. Yeah, he's dressed he's got the surf hair, and I'm not talking out of the waves. (laughs) Which are two opposites. (laughs) Yeah, surf hair. I love that surfer hair. (laughs) Surf (laughs) hair. Oh my god. Uh Kyle, you're getting into you're gonna try to get into gaming. I was just telling you. And I think that might fuck up the dopamine. Why? Because that's what it, that, that's a terrible for your levels. Dope gaming is. Yeah. Why? Uh, it, it's just a nonstop blast of dopamine. When you're done, you fucking crash. No, you got to go all the way to the end. And I th- beat I think, the game. What does that mean? No, no, no. So he, when I playing video games, it's the best because you e- you exit this world, and that's a very no, therapeutic. I, I was say, that's why. I but was the saying. problem is the the longevity it takes. It, it's different for every person. For me. When I would play Skyrim for eight hours a day, I'd go to bed that night feeling completely like I got it out of my system. You have to get to the point where you're like, I cannot play this anymore. The problem is that time is the enemy. And I don't know if you have eight hours to spare. Yeah, yeah, I was kidding about that. I'm not going full on to that lifestyle. Oh, yeah, bro. If you start, it ain't up to you. No, because like Huberman, he doesn't know about the dopamine you get from uh, telling being funny on a podcast, chopping Chopping it up with your boys, busting balls. He's never. He doesn't know about that. How do you know? I don't think he's ever done that. You don't think he's ever busted balls? I don't think he busts balls. There, every man's busted balls. All right, we'll see. You got me all the way fucked up too. Now I'm all the way in. But then we were at the bar on Saturday, like full coping. Like you can't go full. You can't go full optimization with Huberman. We're yeah. all we're fucked up. Yeah, we yeah. We have to do this as well. Are we talking about the bar at Ken Jack's birthday? Yeah. I saw you in the biggest pickle I've ever seen you in. I got stuck in the happy. The worst. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to be stuck in the happy birthday. Kyle was standing alone, and he was standing in front of a table with nothing on it, with just his drink. And Ken Jack's girlfriend comes in with the cake, and everybody starts singing, and she's going straight for Kyle. And Kyle doesn't know what to do. <laughs> and he's, but, he's, it's just, and so she walks around you and puts the cake down. And so 
everybody, you're standing between. Here's Ken Jack by the cake. Here's you. Here's the whole crowd. And you're just staring at everybody singing happy birthday. It was a full warning track. You, you oh. probably saw me physiological sigh. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, you is that what you're du- doing? Yeah, double in. What's a physiological out. sigh? It's a, uh, a deep inhale, two quick inhales. What the first one longer than the second, and then a, a long exhale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now you didn't use your nose, Nick. You got to use. Oh, your nose. use your nose. You didn't tell me nose. Inhale yeah. nose. Yeah, it's supposed to help with anxiety. And so, were you doing that as happy I birthday was, was going I'm on? Trying to like. You didn't move. All you had to do was step to the side. No, I'm trying to uh, keep myself in uncomfortable positions. Exposure therapy. I'm trying to. <laughs> you were, you I'm ruined to keep the my birthday head, song. I'm trying to keep my head up. Trying to. Uh, you were standing eye directly in front of you front of Ken Jack. Noticed, yeah. Well, I didn't then, want to move. And then, you, and then, you, <laughs> old me would have cowered away into the. the that was the right corner. thing to do. Yeah. But well, that, then you did an even worse thing. You then put a beer in the LZ. Like right in the landing zone of, of the, the cake. Of the cake. The you put your beer down and then she, she had to move the beer while she had wine. the cake in her hand. It was white wine. Yeah, it was. Empty. Yeah. Why are you water. drinking white wine? Uh, that's what I was feeling. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I haven't yeah. drank in two weeks. Really? Yeah. I'm on day four. I feel good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, we were all sitting there like you've been preaching this Huberman stuff. You're like, you got to work out. You got to get sunlight. And I, and then we realized that like wow we just discovered that treating your body right is it's good insane. for you. I've never thought about it. Yeah, I'm just do it. Yeah, yeah. No, you're doing the sunlight in the morning. Sunlight in the morning. What minutes. does that mean? On our Teletubby uh, shit. What, what else do we have? Sunlight in the morning, and it doesn't matter. What do you mean Teletubby shit? That was like a 15 minute program, and they were dancing around in the sun, right? Okay. The sun came up. Yeah, I guess that was pretty spot on, man. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes of sun. Oh, like the <laughs> Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't just in the name. Yeah. 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 Um, Wait, you stole that. <laughs> you stole it from the Teletubbies. Yeah, I did. You're doing it. Big time. That's I mean, an easy one you can do. It's, I don't it, know how, you, how do you. I'll hurt myself. What is your levels like? Because you're always on and you always seem like you're pretty high. High. How, you're always like on and like content wise. Yeah, I've realized I've never, I've in the probably five years, I haven't made a decision for myself. Dude, that's bad. Yeah. 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 And we're, we'll both work on that. All right, man. Cool. All right. Your, your call. <laughs> um, yes, <whatever>. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait. So I don't know. How do I don't know how you gauge your dopamine levels? It's not, you kind of just, how do I feel? Am I like a little bit? Am I normal? Like baseline normal? But how do I know what baseline Am I a little is? bit happier than I normally am? Or am I a little bit worse, lower than I normally am? Have you stopped using Did nicotine I've been tracking products? everything. Yeah, no nicotine. Um, the cold showers are my favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. You said you were going to give us your morning routine. Yeah. Uh, wake up. Let's do three, four, two facts first. Oh, shit. It's actually an ultra rare number in terms of significance and relevance. No results from the big three. And when I Twitter searched the 342, like the times, the post and the stool, I've never tweeted 342. Of course you haven't. What? Why would you ever have tweeted 300? I said the big three have never tweeted 342. Why would they? It, it, maybe it came up in a headline. The Washington Post, the New York Times. All right, I'm going to give you a number. Stool. I'm going to give you another number and tell me if Dave Most Portnoy the- has tweeted it. Oh, I didn't check Dave. Well, you I said the big all three. of my Barstool Sports, the account, like people who post oh. headlines that would be viral or be stories. 342 only showed up in one of these in the Washington Post um, of the 342 occupations for which enough data points were available in 2013. Only nine showed women out earning men. The occupations included producers and directors, cleaners of vehicles and equipment, wholesale buyers, transportation security screeners, social service assistants, special education teachers, transportation storage managers, counselors, and biomedical engine psych dishwashers. That's the only <laughs> ones. 342 is the- that was, Dude, that was- did you have psych written down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could tell. The delivery was that trash. That was awful yeah. delivery. I, I, I was so excited to say it. Do it again. Um- uh, the whole thing. No, no, just do the biomedic transportation storage managers, counselors, and biomedical engine psych dishwashers. <laughs> there we go. Three forty-two is the imprint of the chewable one hundred milligram carbo 
Mazepine pill. If you correct my spelling, you're a schizozoid who convulses because this is a pill for people who have seizures and bipolar disorder. Uh, 340, this one. Wait, you said schizozoid. Back to Ken Jack's birthday. I'm sorry to interrupt, but his girlfriend is Chinese and he's very proud of that fact. And uh, <laughs> uh, somebody else's girlfriend came in who was white. Yeah. And he was like, I could never date a Caucasoid. Oh. <laughs> Just like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, <Yeah>. Ken Jack. <laughs> oh, 342 is the year in which the Roman Empire Senate abolished gay marriage. Would have guessed that would already have been set in stone, maybe. I thought they were. Pretty- gay marriage was abolished. In the year 342. Wait a minute. By who? The Roman uh, Empire. Oh, they loved being gay. Oh, so this, I did this. I was like, I thought I figured this out for everyone. No, they were. They were very gay. They were so gay. Yes. Big gay. There was, there was considered to be nothing wrong with homosexual love between men um, in ancient Mesopotamia dating back to 2000 BC. Yeah. That's that crazy. would have been the funniest scene in Gladiator if he was just like railing a dude. They were like, um, no, uh, I mean, I, w- I would have fast forwarded it. Would have been it. mad funny. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is the best part. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. The Roman emperors um, to have married a man was uh, Roman em- was Nero. Yeah, who was reported to have married two other men on different occasions. First, with one of his freedmen. Pythagoras. Mm. Pythagoras, the yeah. theorem. I guy? knew that theorem was zesty. <laughs> oh. yeah. Was it a? A squared plus B squared equals C squared? Yeah. 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 You stayed near bros. B A squared plus A squared. A squared plus, plus boner squared. Square. Boner Boners square. cum squared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two asses, two man asses, two boners yeah. Yeah. equals cum two cums. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 342 is the death year in which the canonized Christian hermit Paul of Thebes, who was claimed to have lived alone in the desert of Thebes, from the age of 16 to the age of 130, 13. Come on. Come you, on. What, why? He, he lived to 113. That's Old Testament type shit. Okay. Dudes would, dudes, dudes would live t- like in the Bible. Everybody was 100. Yeah. Moses, I think. I mean, he walked in the desert for 40 but years. Do- I think he ended up being like 140. Abraham. Put up big numbers. Who was the real old one that uh, uh, Jesus resurrected? Uh, I don't remember. Did he bring an, a guy back? Yeah. An old dude. Was it Abraham? But my question is, where did where would they even, even if it is not true, where would they even come up with those figures? No idea. Their years were probably shorter. Yeah. And they were they were early in counting. I mean, they they miscounted Jesus's birthday. They were way I off. Think about years, they were on yeah. they were on my type counting. Yeah. 342 doesn't have an area code. Whoa. Um, Just sounds like one. So resorting, I didn't, I did a, a quick scan. The 209 is what we go back to. And the 209 is the Central Valley of California, Stockton, Modesto, the San Joaquin Valley. Um, did some mayor searching. Now Modesto, Modesto has a mayor. Her name is Sue Zwallen, Z-W-A-H-L-E-N. Sue Zwallen for Congress is her at name. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm looking her up. Now, wait, okay, so I'm about to use this phrase correctly. Hold on. Say, say spell it again. S-U-E. Okay. Z-W-A-H-L-E-N. F-O-R. Congress. See her. Okay, cool. I'm going to use this fra- phrase correctly. Now, hear me out. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to, this is who you're supposed to use the phrase for. I saw a viral tweet stating, who's your worst hear me out? And you know what that means. Hear me out is someone like you have to explain like, hey, I would actually have sex with this person. (laughs) Zoo? The, The viral responses to this tweet made me livid. I'm talking people who stating their worst hear me out was Kat Dennings. Or Sarah Silverman. These guys like, that's your worst hear me out is Kat Dennings. 
Or Sarah, even Sarah Silverman. That is not your worst That's hear not me your out. Worst hear me out. I don't even know if Zoo Zwallen is my worst hear me out. Wait, but she's wait, like, wait, she's one of your hear me outs? Maybe. Why? I just, I just, I looked at one pick and I was like, yeah, she might be. <laughs> wait, Lord. which pick did you look at? Are we, are we looking at the same one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's how you. That's how you're supposed to respond to tweets like that. But wait, so Sue's Walt, <laughs> she's a he, she's a hear me out type of girl. Wait, so just respond to one of them. Respond to a yeah. hear me out, and no, I want you to just type her name. I don't want to throw her under the <laughs> at bus. her. Okay. Okay. So she, you you ju- what do you mean? You just brought We're, her up that she's a right, hear me right, out. Like who's your who's your worst, your worst hear me out? I feel like I'm getting ragged on. You guys are going to say some very conventionally attractive celebrity like Sarah Silverman, probably. Yeah, Rashida Jones. <laughs> That's what people were saying. Dude. <laughs> My worst hear me out. Probably Suze Wallen. Suze Wallen. Okay. <laughs> uh, she's not the mayor. Oh. The mayor we're highlighting today. Wait, why did you find, how did you find Suze I was just Wallen? searching Modest, uh, Modesto's mayor just to see who it is. I search all of the towns in these area codes to find the best mayor to talk. Yes. She kind of looks like the teacher from School of Rock. Yes. Jack Black? The, the principal. The principal. <laughs> but a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah, both. Both combined. Both combined. All oh, right. I thought I was going to be on uh, the popular side of that uh, debate. Um, we're looking at the mayor of Lodi, California, a town of about 65,000. His name is Mikey Hothi, M-I-K-E-Y underscore H-O-T-H-I. He's verified. He has five and a half thousand followers. He's a jujitsu black belt. Well, you can, just, you can buy belt. verification now. Oh, uh, whatever. But I, his last two posts were him on a plane and him with Travis Barker. What the? Yeah, what's he doing? He was on a plane. He was on a private jet, and then he was with Travis Barker. He might have been with Travis Barker he's with on Kourtney the Kardashian plane, which is like the, oh, with, he's with the Kardashians. I don't know who this guy is. Wait, he's got festival bands. Is this the right guy? This is the mayor of Lodi, and he gets is a jujitsu black belt, and he's, he's a with stepper. the Kardashians. He's a top five stepper. <laughs> he said he's coke chilling. Uh, on April 22nd, he posted successful fight week as he poses with Nate Diaz and Chris, what's his name, Avila, Avila, who yeah. fought that week. He's smirking with his arms folded. Also on April 22nd, a viral headline, Nate Diaz chokes Logan Paul lookalike unconscious in street fight. This dude was out there beating up Logan Paul lookalikes. <laughs> the mayor. The mayor. Which is, who is the Logan Paul lookalike? What? I don't see this post. Nate Diaz choked out a Logan Paul lookalike who is apparently a and star. And he was there? He must have been. <laughs> Wait, <how laughs> and he you... was with him. Oh, it was the same day. The same day, April 22nd. He right, posts with up, them. And these, this is the fight that happened. Wait, pull up. A is, street is, the, fight. is the video in the, is, is there a yeah. video think, of it? Yeah, he might be in it. If he's in the background of it. But this guy has a lot of shit for being a, a small town mayor. Um, and then I looked at his mayor announcement on December 22nd, and I saw 1.6 thousand comments. Because he pop in like that, Lodi, California, and all of the comments are like, justice for Enzo. Uh, what are you going to do about Enzo? Like, R.I.P. Enzo. Enzo is a dog who was <laughs> murdered <A> do- <laughs> brutally, and his blood's on this mayor's hands, I guess. <laughs> Wait a minute, a dog was murdered? A dog was murdered, and the town is... A, a, more so than if a human they are in in uh yeah go to in riots wait okay here's the the Logan Paul lookalike I I sent Rudy the video well that that sh- okay is this is the response this is the response hold on okay if we can find this mayor in the background just hooting and hollering <laughs> uh oh Rudy you know everybody's going to zoom and look at your text yeah no that's going to get blurred I can mm. blur it yeah. Okay, this is it. All right, where's Nate Diaz? Okay, let's go frame by frame. Right, He's uh, right I see who the Logan Paul guy is. This is Bourbon Street? Okay, that's the Logan that's Paul. That's a Logan oh, Paul. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Nate Diaz just, con- like, does he, did he? Well, this guy posts pics with Nate Diaz all the time. The Logan so Paul lookalike? No, the mayor. Why did Nate Diaz fight a Logan Paul lookalike? They got in a fucking street fight. This could be. Why is the why is Logan Paul lookalike in a position where he's just going out with celebrities? Uh, this could be him. Oh yeah, yeah he is, is ball. Oh, is, oh, is he check a- his hair? Check his hair. Wait, 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 wait. 
Oh, is that him? I, I think he is him. balding. So we're thinking that's the mayor. I don't know if we're going to get any back shots of him. Shut. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're good on that. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Yo, you guys are. Wait, let's see if he's wearing that T-shirt in any other photos. Okay. Hold or on. the back of his head. He's always wearing a hat. Yeah, we might get more. Hold on. Let's get back to it. Let's that might see. be the mayor. I mean, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, it's grappling. Hold on. Okay, yeah, there's Logan Paul. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, of course he lost. That was fast. Damn, he doesn't Wait. turn around. He just disappears that might frame be. left. That damn, who's right. that? Here, let's let's Yo. let's let's start it up. Let's just pretend like we know for a fact it's him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's him. That's gotta that's be him. him. Dude, Lodi, California was a throwaway town. I almost didn't Google who the mayor was. And he's there right next to a Logan Paul lookalike. Oh. Wait, so what about the dog that was murdered? I didn't look too much into that. I guess it was tased and dragged. And by a cop? Unfairly, by by cops. <laughs> and on that same day, or like right before that, he was post, he posted an Instagram pic with the Lodi police. Oh. December. Yeah. This guy's dangerous. Wait, it was an animal control officer. Yeah, what happened there? Hmm. Yeah, what? everybody just with paw prints as their photos are like, justice for Enzo. We want justice for Enzo. You should be ashamed of yourself. I thought it was like a, a black teen got murdered by a cop. No, it was a dog. Yeah, here it is. Do better. Justice for Enzo. But that was, when was this? This. Wait, somebody <laughs> look at this comment. Literally all your pictures are of you. you. This is your Instagram. <laughs> yeah. No, but mayors usually do like the graphic yeah, happy, happy Chinese, Chinese New Year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mayors love Chinese yeah. New Year. But um that's him. Oh my god. How Enzo was unnecessarily killed. Do can we look up Enzo Lodi? No criminal charges. I wonder if it was actually bad. They tased a husky and it died. What did the husky? <laughs> what? What oh, the hell? Oh, no. There he is. Yeah, they tased the husky. Uh, it accidentally got out. And I think they were trying. Enzo wow. ran a half mile away from the home. That's well, that's fucked up. I don't know. what the, It's fucked I up. I mean, which the. I don't know how bad it was. Boy died. Well, <laughs> how inhumane uh yeah they tased a dog and it died that happened in philly too an fbi officer shot a dog really yeah what was the dog doing she had for a, fun or <laughs> <laughs> why do you who would do that it who was do uh, such a thing she was walking her dog and her dog was getting attacked and uh she just shot that oh thing. fuck oh that's i think yeah what <laughs> you don't do that I didn't know tasing would kill. I guess it would. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they tased the dog and it died. And now they want justice for Enzo. All right. That's him. That's him. He, so does he passes the heat check or no? Uh, no. What? I don't think he's swaggy. I think a lot of his picks are flex picks. Nate Diaz is never posting a pick with him. <laughs> wait, wait, have you checked? Yeah. Really? He'll post picks on the same day, but no. Uh, I'm sure he's a good guy. Yeah, is Diaz is Nate Diaz from Stockton? Okay. So this area code. He's the only like famous person. Him and Little Huddy. Oh fuck! Nate Diaz posted the same day with the yeah, other no, guy. With the other guy know him. Oh, no wait him. a minute. There's something with this guy, huh? I'm curious about this Nate Diaz photo because Nate Diaz has photos with this guy, the other guy, the Avia the, you, fighter. Yeah. Why is the background all white? Did he put himself in? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I don't know how you, how would you even pose? What? On a green <laughs> screen? You could just Photoshop <laughs> it out the background. Who's doing that? <laughs> Fellas? Like, there's, there's Nate Diaz that same day with this guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually checked every date that he posted with Nate, and Nate would post too, but not with him. 
Yeah, he might. He, that white background is very, very suspicious. But it's not the same pose. There go. There's a slide. Oh man, yeah. Maybe it's in this one. Do we just uncover this guy? Nope. Well, that's just the same photo. That really is. Yeah. I couldn't decide. Oh man. What else? What else? I'll tell you. My favorite flannel of all time that I wear often. It's brown and like blue. Brown one with the blue. Uh, Bare Bottom. Yeah. Bare Bottom is a fantastic clothing brand that we know Barstool fans would love. Known for their insanely comfortable stretch shorts and joggers, Bare Bottom is dropping new summer styles all summer long, built for adventure with innovative features such as stretch fabric, moisture wicking, and antimicrobial tech. High tech. Uh, their shorts and swimsuits come in five and a half and seven inch inseam, inseam with tons of colors. You can customize the best style for you. So exclusively through their site, you're not going to find it in stores. you got to go to their site. Uh, go right to the source for premium quality shorts, tees, and much less it, than uh, legacy brands. For each item you purchase, Bare Bottom donates a meal to a child in need. Get ready for summer with Bare Bottom. Free shipping. On your first purchase, when you go to Bear Bottom, B E A R B O T T O M, clothing.com slash story. I really do love Bear Bottom stuff. Me too. Nice. Good ass shit. Great shit. Um, Mook, uh, mom check, weapon check. Weapon check. I've regressed. I oh, went no. to Philly this weekend, boozed up, ate shitty food. I've regressed from, I think I was at an airsoft gun. I'm back to a bag of milk. Whoa, oh, man. Yeah. Tough regression. Haven't been in the gym. Uh, mom check. Mom's doing good. I would rather get shot by an airsoft gun than get hit with a bag of milk. That is true. Might have to reevaluate mm -hmm. my Reevaluate scale. the scale. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, mom check. She's good. No crazy texts this week. Uh, Daddy hasn't caught up on the podcast. Stop. <laughs> oh, stop. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> um, that's it for my check-in. I wanted to ask. Uh, Brawley hit me up. He's feeling better. He wants to what say. do you mean? Well, yeah, you mean? told me that, and I, I went to say, but what do you mean he's feeling better? <laughs> he's still in the chair, but he's feeling better. I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know he was feeling bad. I didn't know he was feeling. He must be on his cold uh, shower I've game. I've, I've been in contact with him. Good. Uh, we got to have him on. Yeah, yeah, we would like to. Um, so he wants to schedule in advance because his brother would have to take him down here. Cool. Take off. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Brawley. He will be on. It looks like he's uh, preparing a roast. For a uh, perfect, yeah. Oh, we were gonna. What if he pisses me off? He's gonna lose. <laughs> like, yeah, he's, gonna, he's gonna lose. Yeah. I'm not gonna just take it. <laughs> so we're roasting him again. Uh, it well, looks like that might be the case. What could we possibly make fun of? Was it? Were we talking about like? Are there any other LeBrons last week? Yeah, there yeah. is one from Homewood, Alabama. He's a realtor. His name is LeBron <laughs> Little. If you want to look him up, he does. He's new. He's my new favorite guy. Yeah. Wait, you have a new favorite guy? LeBron Little. Uh, on Instagram from Homewood, Alabama. He's a broker. L I T T L E. Yeah. L I D D. Like, yeah. Little T T. Uh, I found his link. Wait, he's <laughs> <laughs> his name LeBron. Wait, this is no. the only other LeBron. <laughs> Wait, he's white. Yeah, he's white. Oh, he's the he's the whitest. LeBron Little. There, dude, this is a bur wait. He has a website, so um, he does have his number up. Are you gonna call him? <gasps> no, I'm just gonna text him. <laughs> <laughs> call LeBron. Call LeBron. What's his uh, Instagram? <laughs> he's 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 in the uh, uh, internet's out. Rudy, if you type in LeBron Little, he doesn't Alabama, have does my phone just not work? Will come up. So he's a white LeBron who's older than LeBron. Adam, he looks like. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to do a prank call, but I do want to call just to see if he answers with LeBron. I'm. <laughs> Or if his voicemail says like he's well, say like a name that's like similar. Like, is this oh, Le an oh, okay. name? like no? This is LeBron. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, wrong number. Oh, what's in? Uh... Dude, a white LeBron. Do you think LeBron he was pissed? Little. It's probably Stort's dad. <laughs> This guy's Pro like he's old probably too. he's old. So like, do you think he was pissed when LeBron was coming up? He was probably like, uh, no, I'm not going to call. There dude. Is. No, wait, that, that's a really young photo. That's not yeah, the one I'm he, looking he at. He doesn't look like that. No, -uh. where did you find that? I'm one? looking at this one. Era real estate. I don't want to dox him though. Well, I mean, <laughs> we've already 
<laughs> I don't want to. You don't want to dox about. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he. People know about. Yeah. Kyle, I do need to know if he picks up the phone, LeBron. Okay. What's a name similar to LeBron? Have to Bronny. Let's say with an L. Is it Lucas? Hey, is this Lucas Little? Oh no. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is LeBron. It. Okay. <laughs> and there's like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I hate it when you prank call. Fuck. This is like a small. Should we have set him up to be prank called? No. By other people? No. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you just call him and nobody else do it. Please don't. I see that look in his eyes. This is his work number. Yeah, please don't do this. We're just doing this Probably once. Us. Oh. Shit. <laughs> you dox him again? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, everybody give him a five star review. Say so he's the best real estate agent in the world. Yeah, he's tough. To, there he is. Oh, there Dude, that's go. the funniest. Go Wait, zoom out. <laughs> that's the funniest. Le <laughs> no, no, zoom out. Right. And just be like, <laughs> which one's the real estate agent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's him. That's the other LeBron. We got to call him. Oh, this is LeBron. <laughs> LeBron speaking. Hi, this is LeBron Little. LeBron. I want to say, no, I say LeBron. Uh, yellow. <laughs> oh my God. The other LeBron. Fuck, dude. I like him a lot. I want him on the show. <laughs> He's yeah. Could, wait, need him. Uh, send an email to booking and say yeah. we'd like to get LeBron. <laughs> <Yeah, I'm laughs> <sure. laughs> wait, who's in charge of booking? Kelly or Jordan yeah. Barry? One of the two. Call Jordan Barry and ask if she, we can get uh, LeBron Little <laughs> in office. Just say LeBron though. <laughs> Jordan, can I go? I am going to you to request a guest, if that's possible, for our podcast. Uh, probably. I was such a run by Kelly. Who is it? Okay, it's LeBron Little from Homewood, Alabama. He's a, uh, his information, I just don't know who to email. His information is online. online? Yes. When do you want to do it? Um, two weeks, three weeks? Two to three weeks. If, ASAP, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. To be honest, text me. I'm so sorry. I text you his email. Because someone killed themselves on a train. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. I'm yeah, on speaker. Yeah, hi, Jordan. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. Don't be yeah, sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. I, I apologize for the family and loved ones of them. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Oh, I'll send you the email for this guy. All right. Bye now. Um, do we say that we uh, in the summer we're also going to uh, Minnesota with Clemmer? He's doing it, but oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go, and we're yeah. gonna do a video, just like a vlog style. But Clemmer is going to do Man on the Street for the hockey, and he's going to be a puck. Oh, perfect. But it's approved. But he yeah. he would. We'll put it up on our channel and I feel bad. We'll go and do our own video, but he'll go do that man yeah. on the street. Uh, any housekeeping? Uh, Rudy can't spell. Yeah, that was rough. Oh, I, you did a spelling test oh, on Twitch, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you have any clips? Yeah, I do. There's a really good clip on his uh, Twitter. Yeah, I did it. Um, I misspell things constantly. That's not a secret. But I've always thought that like I just don't care. I don't think you get what I'm trying to say and I'm just right. going quickly. Like I, 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 I've never been bothered by someone who's like 
pretty shitty at spelling. Yeah, it's not. And my my defense was always that I'm not bad at spelling. It's just that I don't I can't be bothered to go back and make sure everything's proper. Yada, yada, yada. What? And in Photoshop. <laughs> no, you just can't spell. OK, well, yeah. anyways, I put up like a thing like I'm doing this on Twitch. I misspelled the word opponent. I know how to spell the word opponent. I just in Photoshop, there's no spell check. So I was like, okay, enough of this shit. I'm doing a spelling test to show that I just, I know how to spell. I just can't be bothered to take the time to spell things correctly. I did a spelling test and uh, I was wrong. I'm really fucking bad at spelling. You're bad. Really bad. Unanimously I'm not great bad. either. It took me almost I'm actually 45. Pretty bad. It took me almost 45 minutes to go 10 out of 10 on the Miriam Webster uh, quiz. So yeah, it was really do it, bad. Do it right now. Okay. Do it right now. Yeah. Plug it in. Yeah. And I just because watching you do the crossword, you you did you spelled BMW wrong on the cross. No, I didn't. That's, <laughs> yes, that's fucking, yes, you no, did. No, 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 that's not true. What what was it? I you're making that up. I don't even remember that. And also, I, I remember what happened the other day when I was started getting photons from the sun in the morning. Remember when I discovered the clue? Mm -hmm. You were there. You bared witness. Fucking crickets now. You're huh? getting photons. Yeah. You wouldn't get that because you're busy. Is it photons, getting, Kyle. You're getting you're busy getting pendants from children. Yeah. So. <laughs> this okay. First yeah, of all, dude, yeah. right. he's 18 now. <laughs> when the book came out, he was 17, um, and he can. He's sick. He's inspiring, and I recommend everybody go read the the series. Uh, while Rudy's setting that up, Nick, people are loving your drunk pitch for part of my take. Oh uh, yeah, that's a, yeah. That was a good idea. They're, yeah, they're tagging Big Cat. They're coming at Big Chief. Yeah, that'll Ooh. work. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do it. But I, I just felt so weird inviting. I was so, I was so drunk, and I was just like, "That's what I, you I, should be doing. That's I'll, that's the state that you should be in." Yeah, it's better than asking sober. No, I wasn't. I, you can't ask to be on somebody's show, especially a show of that caliber. You ready? Okay. The problem is that I only have fifteen seconds to spell it. Can we kind of just do a litmus just to make sure you're not that crisis? C R I S I S. Yeah, you're not too bad. Okay. Spell it. As in written in permanent ink. Permanent. Permanent. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and refresh, pal. Yeah. Nailed it. Boom. All right. Spontaneous. As oh, in God. Spontaneous this is hard. I would no, be out. That's easy. Yeah, he's got it. The problem is that I, I failed the test so many times that I almost know every word that they're going to ask. Uh, Rudy, this is the dictionaries website. That's every word. No, they repeat. Uh, horse, as in his voice was horse. I'll be real, though. These are a little bit different. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Moot, as in it's a moot point. Yeah, this is easy. Okay, you're not too bad. You're not doing too bad. You're you're good. Oh my god, that was really fucking scary. Why? It's <laughs> that was moot. But why is moot different than mute? There's a different. You just said two different words. <laughs> but they mean that. But like a mute point, like a, the definition of the word meanings. mute means like it's like it's silence, like not needed. No. So like why? I don't, whatever. You just said a mute point. I thought it was that up until very recently. Misspell, as in <laughs> please don't misspell my name. That's it's got jokes now. Yeah, that was meta yeah, so as you, fuck. You're about to get a hundred percent. You're about to get a hundred percent. I wouldn't. Prerogative. Oh god. Your prerogative. Oh, wait, if you. <laughs> so. There we go. Oh! There we go. That's how you spell that? Oh, Three wrong? Bro, that You're was better a, than us. That, that was, was a huge I, I would have missed the first one. Well, I thought it was perfect. I would have got that one wrong. That was a sure. huge guess. 12th, as in December is the 12th month. Uh oh. <laughs> it's <was> Twilight. <laughs> there it is. There's an F in that? Yeah, it's sleazy. Dude, the one of the ones in the clip that I misspell. Actually, it's not in the clip. I couldn't put it in there because it was so bad. I misspelled eighth. I couldn't get eighth. That was eighth. really sobering. Privilege, as in it's a privilege to meet her. No. Wait. Whoa. <laughs> well, hold on. Back. <laughs> Promenade. Up. Privilege. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Not even close. Oh, I always. Okay, so an, I we always misspelled a lot of letters. I. <laughs> I'm, I always mess up the E and the I, whatever. I'm bad at spelling. It's okay. Uh, well, you weren't bad. 
That was good. That was way better. I think it's probably because I did it for an hour and a half earlier this week. But when I went into it raw, it was a disgusting display. It was really bad. Whatever. Um, I have a bunch of regular checks, like historical checks at this point that we've uh, forgotten about, I believe. What does that mean? Knife check, DJ update, cat check, nobody's award, and yeah. pod guest appearance. Yes. I I just answered to a podcast called like the John podcast, G-A-W-N. Okay. Um, they want to get us yeah. out there. They're outside of Philly. I would take the train in to go do theirs. They have like yeah. they under 100 followers on Twitter. Um, the Nobody's, my apartment, I just has a bunch of trophy bases sitting in there to give away. Uh, mm. I have like 10 potential people. That's going to take a lot of production. Uh, knife check. I have a lot. I just bought a new Benchmade knife. You're for, still buying them. Yeah, it was about 320 bucks. Can't afford this. But I always think like, okay, every time I travel, I'm like, I'm saving money because I don't have to pay for food. And so I'm just like, I'll take that money I would have spent on food yep. for the week and buy a knife. So I just bought this knife um, that comes in Friday. So when I'm, I'll be gone. And uh, that's my knife. I, I have a lot, a lot of knives. I was just got a, a spider co that uh, you guys don't care. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> well, what, what number would you estimate you're at? I'm in the 80s. What? Wrong side of a hundred. <laughs> All right. All right. What a what what a KB DJ check? DJ, DJ check. Yes. I actually ghost wrote a song for another DJ. How do you ghost write the, for I don't a want DJ? The glory. I made the song for this person to put on his channel. It's called Summer Where You At, W Y A <laughs> question mark part two. He made the part one. I did the part two. You did Summer Where You At part two. Summer Where You At part two on Luke Garrity's channel on soundcloud luke garrity and you made this song i did i did oh shit um you want me to pull it up or you don't have yeah no you don't don't you don't want the glory you don't play let the let the people play it but i want to hear it to i want to listen to it after this i want to listen to it now should we vote (laughs) you're really trying to stop us i mean fuck you guys want to play it (laughs) can you can you play it i want to hear it from the creator. No, let's just no, let's leave it at that. Okay. Trust me. I don't want to get any. Maybe I'll mix it the into the. Uh, I, I, I the told Luke video. he could take credit. But you just. Is he a big DJ? He's not. He's pretty. He's got a lot of followers. How many? Let me see. Are we going to play it or no? No. No? All right. Well, that's a new untold story. Uh, episode. I forget again. 342. 342. Yeah, see you next week. See you guys next week. Yeah.